Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the quote, Private Baker Act. Private Baker Act, and this is a term that uh, I've only recently become accustomed to and frankly, I was uh, very distressed when I heard um, about this new phenomenon called the Private Baker Act and I'm going to tell you how this all came about. So we had an individual who had voluntarily admitted into a, uh, uh, a substance use facility um, and during the admissions process she decided she didn't want to be there and she left. The police got called and they found her, I don't know, a quarter of a mile uh, down the street. She was sitting on a sidewalk, um, somewhat emotional, but not you know, threatening to harm herself. And after the police got called, the family said, we want you to detain her, you need to bake her actor. And the police said, I'm sorry, but she doesn't meet criteria. We can't take her. Um, she simply doesn't meet Baker Act criteria. Um, and then things took a very strange turn. Uh, one of the clinicians, uh, and I'm not going to name names, um, uh, said to the family, uh, would you be interested in, quote, a private Baker Act? Private Baker Act. In other words, they were willing to issue a professional certificate and Baker Act the woman, even though she didn't meet criteria, in return for the payment of a significant amount of money. And it happened. The family paid. They were desperate, okay? And they paid the uh, clinician a lot of money, thousands of dollars, and that individual issued a professional certificate, at which point the police were bound to take her, and they did. And they Baker Acted her, and they took her to a facility, even though it was all being done illegally. And that is the private Baker Act. Now, after that happened, while she was still in a facility, uh, the family went and filed the Marchman Act, which was the correct thing to do, but it should have been done without her being illegally detained. And so if somebody approaches you and says, we want to do a, quote, private Baker Act, and they try to get you to pay for it, run. Run as fast and as far away as you can, okay, because that is illegal, okay? If somebody meets criteria, if a clinician thinks that somebody meets criteria, they shouldn't have to be paid to do what they're legally required to do. Okay, they simply shouldn't. And so um, if you come across this, um, run away. Okay, this is not somebody that you should want taking care of your loved one. It simply isn't. And so that is the Private Baker Act. And um, wow, uh, this one really caught me by surprise when I heard about it. And frankly, I was just disgusted. And anyway, that's the Private Baker Act. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.